What? What? Ah! I got a medical problem. Is there a doctor on YouTube? This is the series where I tell you a story, its subsequent theories and explanations, and then let you make up your mind. Today's topic will reside in medical science. We're here to talk tonight about immunology. Immunology is a branch of biomedical science that basically studies the body's defense system. Oh yes, we have an army inside of us, complete with tanks and stuff! <clears throat> it involves the physiological, physical and chemical components and their interaction on the body as they defend us against both foreign intruders and internal diseases. Immunology has numerous applications in a variety of medical disciplines, including organ transplantation, cancer study, virology, bacteriology, and so forth. There are different fields of study in immunology, like for instance, classical immunology, which studies the defense against pat pathogens like bacteria and viruses and such, and clinical immunology, which involves diseases of the system itself, like immunodeficiency and autoimmune diseases, and many more. In 1949, Dr. Burnett suggested the self-non-self -self model, which simply means that the body can distinguish between its own structures and alien ones who are attacked and destroyed. The theory stipulated that a non-self body was recognized as such by a B lymphocyte, which subsequently activated. It was later discovered that the cell needed help from a T helper cell. In 1989, Charles Janeway, forefather of Captain Janeway from Voyager, you know, Star Trek, postulated a new theory called infectious non-self model. It basically said that antigen presenting cells or APCs are activated by pattern recognition receptors, PRRs, who recognize pathogen associated molecular patterns or PAMPs on such organisms like bacteria and such. Yeah, I know. I had problems with this one and I studied this shit. Sorry for my language. None of these theories, however, can explain some virus infections, graft rejections, anti-tumor immunity or certain autoimmune diseases. Polly Metzinger, French-born, immigrated to the US. She worked as a Playboy Bunny in Denver Playboy Club in the late 60s and later as a cocktail waitress. There she came in contact with a myriad of scientists because they like to chase some tail. Talking with them and eventually befriending one of them called Dr. Robert Sidney Schwab who encouraged her to study biology. She eventually wound up as a chief immunologist in the lab at the National Institute of Health in Bethesda, Maryland. Unhappy about the existing theories, she was one day in 1995 pondering alternatives as she was taking a bath. I'm sorry, I was just thinking about her taking a bath. Naked. You don't take a bath with clothes, do you? Well, maybe I, sh I should have been a scientist. Anyway, it suddenly dawned her as she saw an exploding soap bell. What if the immune system wasn't triggered by non-self receptors on alien bodies, but by receptors re released by the destruction of cells? It would fit certain viral infections that don't involve cell destruction. Inactivity involving tumors because they, although alien, no cell destruction is witnessed, and so forth. And still they say tumors eat you from the inside. <laughs> so 
some scientists. Welcome this new innovative theory. A great many were skeptical and her past as a playboy bunny probably didn't help. I must say though, this is a medical discipline and knowing the truth could probably save lives. So instead of working against each other, they could maybe better work together. I mean, who knows? They both could be right. Oh yeah. And you already know what I'm gonna say, don't you? You decide. So, did you like the video? You can always click the like button. If you wanna see more, you can subscribe to my channel. You can also leave comments in the comment box. You can start a discussion there for all I care. I also have a vlog channel, so if you want to get bored out of your mind for a while, why don't you check it out? And of course, you can share this on your social media. See you next time.